000 and I'm really excited about this video because if you watched my last video you will have gotten a sneak peek of the new hamster I got and this video is going to be his introduction video. So I would like you all to meet, I would like you all to meet Butterball. <laughs> Hi cute. Alright, he doesn't really want to show his face. <laughs> Turn around. No, turn around. Turn around the other way. There you go. So I would like you all to meet Butterball. So Butterball, um, he is a male, long-haired Syrian hamster, and he is a cream bandit. He's really, really sweet. As you can see, we have come quite far with taming. I'll talk a little bit more about taming in a second, but um. I got him from PetSmart on December 21st. I just kind of went in there just to look um, and I saw him and I just I just fell in love with him. He just was so sweet and I've secretly always wanted a long-haired cream banded Syrian. It's just one of those things that I just thought, oh, it'd be so cool to have one and they're actually not too common here. Um, they must sell really fast or something, but when I saw him, he was just he was just so cute and so perfect. Um, so yeah, he's really tiny too. Um, I got him quite young. He wasn't like a really small baby, but he still has his little baby face, and he's really cute. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put him back because um, we're still kind of taming, so I don't think he's gonna sit here very long. So I'm gonna go put him back, and then I'll kind of give you guys more details on his story. So, say bye bye Butterball. That day we actually went into town to go snowboarding and um, we decided to stop by PetSmart on the way back because my parents had actually been secretly wanting to get me a hamster for Christmas because um, I did lose little Boo Bear um, around Christmas time and it was just really, really hard, especially to lose um, a really precious pet and hamster during Christmas time, but um, we just went in there, I just went in there just to look. I had no intention really of buying a hamster to be honest. Um, I really didn't want to adopt, but I, I was really missing having hamsters. Like, I realize now that I think I'll always have hamsters as a part of my life because I really do love having them. Usually when one dies, like when Zuzu died, I had Bibbles to comfort me. And when Bibbles died, I had Boo Bear to comfort me, but when Boo Bear died, it was just kind of like I didn't have a hamster there to comfort me and get my mind off of it. So I went into the pet store and like I said, I just, I went, I looked and there he was. He was just really sweet and just butterball-y, um, long-haired. Like I said, I secretly always wanted a long-haired cream banded male Syrian hamster so it was just I just fell in love with him that's kind of all there really is to his particular story um, of how I got him at least so I just brought him home and um, I gave him about a week to settle in and then I kind of started doing the Tammy process and he was actually a little bit different I, I'm gonna be honest um, I do not know much about taming at all. Zuzu and Bibbles, I was really lucky to have them just kind of be tame. Um, but I don't have that much experience about taming, so I was just kind of, I mean, I knew how to tame, but I didn't have a lot of personal experience with it, so he was a little bit different because there were some times he would be freaked out if I just like opened the cage to clean out his food bowl or something. And other times he would like literally just climb on my hand and everything so I was a little bit confused by his behavior I wasn't really sure I just don't have that much experience and then I came down with a cold and that lasted a few days so I didn't handle him at all made sure I was completely well before I started taming again and then when I started taming I tried to put him in a playpen once he got more comfortable with my hand and he did not like the playpen at all I don't know why he was just really nervous he didn't really like it um so I made a topic on the hamster hideout forum kind of just trying to figure out 
you know, what does his behavior mean? He didn't seem to really enjoy his big cage as much. I didn't know if I really needed to give him more time to settle in. Um, but now kind of looking back at it, I kind of realized I was just not really experienced probably because now he is doing fantastic. He climbs on my hand and actually learned that he really, he doesn't really like play pins, but he does like walking around in the bed and it's really cute because when you set him down, he likes to stay by you. He doesn't really like to explore. He likes to crawl all over your legs and it's just really sweet. Um, and another thing that made Timmy really hard, I should actually say, this is the main reason why I was, why I was having difficulty is he is not food motivated at all. Um, there's very few things that he likes. Luckily, he does like a few things, um, but he's not like crazy about anything really at all. Like he'll nibble on something and then drop it if he likes it. So that made it a bit challenging, but he has come a long ways. Also, I apologize for the beeping sound. Our fire alarms are broken and the one in my room keeps beeping and it does that all night long. Oh my goodness. But um, anyways, yeah. So, <laughs> he's doing really sweet. I mean, he's doing really good. He's really, really sweet. And um, one thing I am working on right now is I'm trying to get him used to the brush because his little skirt is kind of matted with bedding and I'm kind of worried that's what's comfortable for him so I'm trying to get him used to the brush so I can go ahead and comb that out for him and groom him because long haired Syrian hamsters a lot of times do need being groomed so yeah I, I don't really know I thought I would have a lot more to say in this video when I planned to make it but I guess I really don't I just I fell in love with him at the store um, I really did want to adopt when I was going to be getting another hamster because I really do love adopting, but um, if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I told you guys a little sneak peek that I actually have two hamsters. So my second hamster's adoption story will be posted probably next. I don't know. I haven't filmed it yet, but um, I just wanted to do Butterball first because I got him first on December 21st and... I love him so much, he's just the sweetest little thing, and I'm so happy that he came into my life. So I hope you guys enjoy him as much as I do, and you will probably be seeing him as well as my other hamsters in the future video. So here is little Butterball one last time. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!